Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, today's lesson in this video is graphing linear inequalities. And as I mentioned in the basics video, there are three steps to this process. First of all, you want to determine where the line goes, okay? And what that means is that you have to think of this as an equation. So instead of seeing that greater than or equal to symbol right there, turn it into an equal sign, whether you rewrite it on paper or just think about it. And notice how now we have the function or the equation that says y equals 1. Okay, so to determine where that line goes, we notice that every place along this area right here is where the y value is a positive 1. Okay, it turns out to be a horizontal line. All right, some of you who have done a lot of this work in algebra know that if it's a y equals and a number, then that's just the y value, and you're going to have a horizontal line. Okay? Now, we've determined where the line goes, but before I draw it in, I need to know what kind of line it is. That's the next step. So where's the line go, and then what kind of line is it? In other words, is it an invisible line, dashed, or is it a solid line, which means equal to? Now notice that right there, that little bar, underneath the greater than symbol, means equal. So the solution set does include that line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line. And let's make it a, yeah, we'll make it kind of a purplish color. And it's going to go straight across right here. Okay? Now that is not my final answer yet, of course. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and make arrowheads here, indicating it goes forever. But now the idea is I have to shade either above that line or below that line. Okay? So the third and final step, after I find the line and then determine what kind of line it is, now I need to figure out the shading above or below. Okay, I'm going to do a test point, and my test point, most of the time, is going to be the origin. Okay, in this case, if I kind of pick that line right there, that that's um, point, that origin is zero zero, and then I want to su do some substituting here. Okay, zero zero. So if I know that x is zero and y is zero, then does that work? Okay. So in this case, it's only a y, uh, 0 equals 1. Does 0 equal 1? Is that true or false? 0, uh, excuse me, I better put it right here. Is 0 greater than or equal to 1? No, it is not. Since that's a false point, I'm actually going to include all the points over here. Now, instead of just doing an infinite set of points everywhere right here, the idea is just to shade it. So you can draw some lines here or take a highlighter and so on. So we want to um, solve this saying that the answer is this line and all the points above it. Okay? So for all the y's greater than or equal to 1, it's this solution set right here. All right, now take a look at number 2. x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Hit pause and maybe sketch it out on a piece of paper and see if you can get a good idea of what that is. And then play when you're ready. All right, let's see how you did. I'm going to go a little bit faster now. Instead of x is greater than negative 2, let's think of it as x is equal to negative 2. Again, that will help us place the line. So what is the set of points where x is always going to be a negative 2? All right, well, you go back 2 on the x-axis, and it's going to be right there. So it's going to be this line right here. Okay? And let me go back to my pencil and put my arrowheads in because it does go forever in a vertical way. All right, now, the next question is what kind of line it is. Now, I've already drawn the line in solid, but let's double check. It says greater than, okay? Notice there's no equal bar here. We can't include, cannot include the points on that line. Now, if I've already drawn the line, you can go ahead and just make these little hash marks and we're going to pretend that that symbol means it's an invisible borderline. So we cannot include the points exactly on that line. But is it going to be over on this side of the line or on that side of the line? 
Well, choose a test point as I did with number one. And let's take a look at the origin since it's not on that line. Okay, let's test that point right there, which we know is zero, zero. So if we put zero right there in place of x, there is no y in this equation. So does zero, is zero greater than negative two? Is that true? Okay, think about your positives and negatives. Yes, that is true. So the origin is going to solve that inequality and everything on that side of the line. So we're going to shade on this side, the right side of the line. Okay, so it's all that area in green, but not on that blue line, just on the other side of it. Let's take a look at a couple more quick examples. Number three, x is greater than negative five. Okay, locate the line by thinking of it as an equation. So it becomes x equals negative five. All right, now, where are all the points where x is always gonna be negative five, and there is no y value, doesn't matter what y is. Okay, that will be all of those points on a vertical line just like that. All right, now next step is what kind of line is it? Well, notice it's greater than and there is no equal bar under it, so it's gonna remain an invisible line, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and just put these little hash marks in here again, pretending that uh, we wanna show where the line is, but we do not want to include it as a solid line. Okay, some textbooks will call that a dashed line for inequalities. Next question is, which part do we shade? Do we shade over here on the left side or the right side? Well, as you know, we pick a test point. In this case, the origin is a really good choice because zero, zero would help us solve this. Now you put it in the original equation, so we're gonna think of a zero gonna be right there in place of x. Is zero greater than negative five? Yes, it is. So that means we include everything on the origin side of the line. Okay? So if I had a highlighter, I could make that a solid green. So the set of points, x's and y's coordinates that solve that inequality is this green area up to that blue edge, but not on that point, on that line. Okay, number four. Go ahead and hit pause and give that a try. All right, well finally we have an example in number four here where we have an x and a y, okay? Now first of all, we wanna locate the line, so we're gonna think of it as an equation. Put an equal sign in there instead of the greater than or equal to symbol there. And it's y equals five halves x minus one. All right, now notice how it is in slope intercept form, okay? And this is gonna be my slope, positive five over two, and my minus one, which is really adding a negative one, okay, that tells us that's a negative one y-intercept. All right, so again, I'm gonna assume that you know in algebra, when it's in that form, you can pick out the y-intercept and the slope. So let's go ahead and graph it. We'll go back to the color blue here. And first locate the um, y-intercept, which would be at negative one, right there. Now from that y-intercept, not the origin, but from the y-intercept, we're gonna do a five halves slope, okay? Notice it's positive, so that line's gonna be sloping upwards going to the right. And five over two means that we, if we go up five, one, two, three, four, five, we go to the right two. That way it has the correct angle. Now if I go below five, one, two, three, four, five, then I have to go to the left two. However I do it, I wanna make sure that I have a five halves slope positive and let's see if I can get this to work here all right basically like that okay so that's actually a linear inequality now because I have to figure out the shading of the line and what kind of line it is and we have an x and y coordinate system all right now next question of course what kind of line well that is a greater than or equal to symbol notice the equal bar there so we do include all the points on that line, keep it a solid blue line, and then we take a test point, which in this case would, looks like the origin is gonna work. All right, so if we pick out that origin spot right there, notice how it's just on that side of the line. So that'll work as my test point. And if I substitute zero and zero, let's see what happens. 
if I have five halves times zero, then that's still going to be a zero, right? So on the right, zero minus one is still going to be negative one. Is zero greater than or equal to negative one? Yes. Now since that's true, we are going to shade all the points right here. So the solution set for that linear inequality is the blue line and everything in the green area on that side of it. Okay, it's an area, a region. All right, look for the next video, which will have more examples for you. Thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.